everyone in this video we are going to install or deploy an android applications to end users through an apk file uh, there are two ways to uh, deploy the applications the first uh, way is through uh, manage google play and the second way is through uh, lob uh, line of business applications so let's go and explore the first way how we can add applications to Microsoft Intune and then deploy to the end users. For that, we need to just click on the apps and then we have Android. Uh, here we should click on create button. Here we have manage Google player. So this is the first way. First, we need to upload the applications to manage Google Play Store. And then from the store, we need to add it to Microsoft Intune. And then it will be listing here. And then from here, we can assign the applications to end users. Manage Google Play, select. Here we have private apps. From here, right now, I don't have any private applications upload here, but this is my new applications. I would like to click on the add button. You should have the APK file already uh, with you. So I have my APK file. I would like to upload it from here. I just click on upload app button. Here we have test APK file. I'm just open this and putting the name of the application. And now you can see that I have this button green and I can go ahead and create. Okay, so APK has been signed with an insecure key size. So it means this application, this APK file has some kind of a problem and the problem is insecure key size. So in this kind of cases, if you face with this kind of error messages, then you need to contact your developer, the person who de developed this APK applications and ask them to assign a secure key uh, size inside of the applications. Right now, we can go ahead with this applications because of this error. So I'm just uh, ignoring this part. Once I have added, uh, once I have created from here, then after that, it will be visible in this file. So in this list, that applications will be here. And once the application, that applications uh, listed here, then we can just click the application. For example, I'm just clicking into a company portal. And here in properties, we have the assignment options here, assignments. So we can assign applications as required. We can assign available for enroll devices and we can assign available with or without enrollment. And even we can uninstall through the security groups. So required means if I add a security group here, and push this application to end users to the required, it means the application will be installing automatically on the end user device. Available for enroll devices, it means if I add it here, it means the application will be available in the end user Play Store. It will be not automatically installed. And available with or without enrollment, it means I can assign the applications to the device which is if that device is managed or unmanaged. It means if that device is enrolled to Microsoft Intune or not, it doesn't matter. And with uninstall, I can just uh, push this applications to end users so we can uninstall the application from end users through the security groups. So this is the first way how we can just uh, deploy the APK file for Android devices. 
And the second way is through LOB apps. And for that as well, I need to click on the apps and then Android. Here, I need to click on the create button and then the app type. So here I need to select the different options. Before we have selected this manage Google Play app, but in here I need to select line of business app. So normally line of business app are to add a custom or in-house app, upload the apps installation file. So we can um, add those kind of applications. For example, for Android APK file, for iOS IPA, .pkg and these kind of extensions. I'm just clicking on select. And from here, you can just upload your APK file, select app package file. And then I would, I would be selecting the same one open. And then, okay. Here you need to customize a bit, like write your own uh, naming. For example, I'm just leaving it like this. And even you can put some descriptions. Publisher is must. For example, publisher is test or maybe TWN. Trusted platforms, it's like Android Enterprise. Manual operating system, it means uh, you need to select the minimum operating system for these applications. Uh, I would be selecting, for example, so on. Category, which this application is in which category? Maybe in business, yeah. Show this as a feature app in the company portal. Yes, it means in when you open the company portal, it will be listed on the top. Information URL, these are optional. If you would like to put some information here, go ahead. If not, then you can just leave it like this. And here you can select the logo. I'm not putting any logo here. And then next. So here we have two options, required and uninstall. So I would like to push uh, this application to end users through required options. It means once I have added the security group here, so all the users that are part of the security group will be receiving this application and it will be installing there automatically. So I'm just selecting into users. Select, next, and create. So we have successfully added the application to Microsoft Intune. It will take time because it's uploading the whole application to Microsoft Intune environment. And then it will be pushing the application to end users. But it's listed here. See, we, here we have this test uh, application. It's Android and the type is Android line of business app. And here you can see the uh, version of the app. Assigned, it's not assigned yet uh, because still ongoing. It will take time. Okay, we have this one included groups here. So yeah, still it's like running in the background. So yeah, this is how we can add our APK file applications to Microsoft Intune and deploy to, to, to the end users.